over the difficult par 4 10th. David Toms playing his second. Jim Gallagher with this group. Good shot. That's an unbelievable shot there by David Toms on a really, really difficult hole. Two excellent shots at 10. I have no idea what it was breaking like. You know, more to get pace than anything else, Jim. I always thought, you know, reads were uh, specific to the individuals because, you know, the read of the how much it breaks depends on how hard you're going to hit it. Uh, so here again, just watching the pace. And that's an unbelievable three. Not like, not going to be a lot of threes at number 10. That is one hard golf hole. Over at the ninth, par four, Stephen Ames, his second. Severe uphill second shot on this par four. And that's just a an excellent play by Stephen Ames, who's been going very nice recently. Good to be here. Stephen Ames, beautiful second into the ninth. This is for birdie. Solid front nine for Stephen Ames, and he has been playing some good golf. Robert Carlson now for birdie on the downhill 11. Playing 173 yards, a back left hole, hole location. Even par in his round today. Get him in the red. Robert Carlson enjoying the rookie season on the PGA Tour Champions. Season. A number of good events in a row. I remember when he had that sickness before he turned 50 and just didn't know if he was going to get out of the hospital. And what a comeback as well. This is also on the good line, trying to draw back right to left. Back there, right in the middle of the green. Take that all four days, actually, on the 11th. Right to the front left. So this will break pretty significantly from right to left and slow, like you said, Jimmy. Good pace. Just catches the left side of the hole. Good birdie there for Gene Sowers. Stephen Ames playing his second shot at the 10th. Sure. Stephen, he has really been lost with his game, but he's gotten things straightened out. One in Des Moines had to come off the pace to win it, but he's got it going in the right direction. Well, he really does. He's got a gorgeous golf swing. This whole year open has never missed the cut with two top 10s. He's got a birdie putt at the 10th. Yeah, it'd be like stealing, and that's we have seen two birdies in two groups on the 10th. I didn't think we'd see two birdies here all day. What a big, big par four. This is the 10th hole for this group. Thank you, Bob. And this little pitch coming out of this intermediate cut, the players have spent a lot of time in their practice rounds trying to come up with a game plan to come out of that intermediate cut. Now for his par at the first. And that second shot that hit over the green, we saw the little pitch downhill there. Didn't take advantage of a good drive, but par nonetheless. Good putt, Billy Ray. He's been over strong. Stephen Ames coming off back-to-back -back birdies at 9 and 10. 173 yards back down the hill. And that is another quality nice. iron shot for Stephen Ames. Really swinging the club. Goes nice. back up the slope and works gently from left to right. Just to get to four under. Solo lead. Box it right in the center. That Three was birdies a, in a row. That was a really good stroke by Stephen Ames. We haven't seen him make strokes that that, that nice. That went in here on this golf course, I think. Uh, and number one is put it in the fairway. Monty does that mostly. Obviously hit it way offline on the first hole. That's what got him in trouble to begin with there. And excellent play here at the second. Going to get one back. He's won a lot in Europe. He's played very well. Uh, his time here in the United States. Good player, strong, great short game. And that is a wonderful golf shot. Yes, I agree. All right, Bob coming across this green here at this par four that plays back uphill. He's had wonderful pace throughout the day, and what a putt there by Jimenez. Unlikely birdie there. 
been dialed in Lenny with his iron play he's had great looks for birdie at 12 and 13 his second into 14. Yeah good tee shot here right in the right center of the fairway and no reason not to take dead aim Steven does another excellent shot he is really playing and Making swinging three birdies in a row Steven Ames made par in the last two but had good looks just like he has here at 14. That was again another good stroke by Steven Ames. That was reminiscent of the one he hold a few holes ago. That's his sixth birdie of the day. The only up to the 17th, 17th now. West short for birdie. Drove it just in the intermediate cut. Left rough. And that is a great birdie for West Short. Great round of golf going. Gets him to minus four. 18. Does play downhill. 18 yards. Stephen Ames. Really swinging the golf club nicely today. And this is right at it. This could go in. He is just knocking the pins out of these. Knocking the flight sticks right out of the hole. Club works for him. He can go low. Ooh, that was a great effort. Just burns that high edge. Really nice round of golf for West Short. Way he drives the ball, I would expect to see him in the mix all through the weekend. Slope yeah. 211 total with his second shot here to the par five. Trying to work this ball in from right to left. Good looking line here. He gets up on that proper level just below that little ridge, though. He'll have a decent look there for Eagle. Will he minute? it? So, Menneth. With the birdie head to the 18th. Second shot for Robert Carlson. Uphill lie and uphill second shot. Whole location we saw earlier is right in that left front. And he goes flag hunting. That's a very aggressive play. What a shot by Robert Carlson. Robert Carlson, good look for birdie at 18. Yeah, excellent look. Maybe back up the slope can be aggressive. He was. That's a really nice three. Way to finish your day. Robert Carlson right in the mix. Birdies three of his last five. 12 yards, John. Uphill six yards, but he's trying to carry at least 104 or five yards to there. He's up on that level. This is a pitching wedge, but not a big one. Gotta try to keep that on to keep the spin off of it. Cannot go long or left. It's a little left. Not by much, though. And that is another beautiful approach shot, controlling the spin perfectly. Backs. He has just controlled his golf ball so well. Check and hold, no backspin. That is such a key. Kind of wiped it. That wasn't his best, best stroke there. And he's left a couple out there as well. Ground that round out. Stephen Ames now, just a couple of feet for par. Oh. Wow. He gave two away. Otherwise, beautiful round of golf. Just he fell asleep on that. You can't do that in the USGA Championship. You miss it into that wind from left to right. It's going to knock it down quite a bit. And this is a, kind of flighting it down, taking it toward the left hand side of the green. Oh, and just kicks out of the primary cut. He got That's going to be very interesting. He got a great bounce. That just wants the backstroke, make sure it's long and fluid. Good stroke there. Oh, catches the left edge there. Mm. Very good putt, though. Just didn't go down for him. So the errant second shot leads to a bogey for Jimenez. I'll work a little to his right as well. At the end, it's a little more level than at that slope. Should try and go back right, and I think it's going to get away from him a little bit. He's got some work left, and I don't think he wants to stand over that one, Jimmy, not after the last hole. No. This one's outside the par, but he missed. Yeah, he needs to keep the speed up here and make an aggressive stroke. And he did. That's a good two putt there. He needed that one. He did not want to finish back to back three putts. I can tell you that. That's 
Still an outstanding round of golf. Be a nice score to be on after 72. Jimenez now for his par. A yeah, nice solid hit. round of golf by Miguel. Two in the red for Jimenez. Kentanagawa, who has won a senior major, trying to get his day started with a birdie at the difficult 10th. Yeah, two good shots in here, about 35 feet down the slope. And how about starting on a, with a birdie on maybe the hardest golf on, on the course? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Triple play, hey, overtime. And Tom Lehman, always a great striker of the ball, and what a way to get your day started. Puts it in there to just over a foot. Ernie Els playing his second into the difficult par 4 10th hardest hole in the golf course. Jim Gallagher with this group. Thanks, Bob. It's a 136 yard shot here. Yeah. It's just average that distance. I can't get over how far he hit the tee shot. That hole is not played like that all day. Up to the 15th now and Tom Byram. Tee shot at the downhill par 3. 218 yards back down the hill. Go, go in. We saw Stephen Ames hit it about a foot. Good. Ernie Ells playing in his first U.S. Senior Open Championship. His birdie putt at the 10th. Yeah, picks up speed as he goes over that ledge right there. Planning on going left and going more, and not a particularly good first putt by Ernie. A lot of work left. Jerry Kelly tee shot. Jim Gallagher. Yeah, this threesome has played the last three holes at seven over, so they have struggled for sure. And that is trying to cut back towards the hole. Looks like he got across it. Beautiful oh, shot. Right in there. There. Wonderful oh, shot you. with Gary Kelly. Thanks. That'll help. For birdie on the downhill, long par three, 220, 233 yards today. Oh my goodness, you can cut that up. Like that. Great two for Alex Check. It gets him to two under par. Pretty good breaker from right to left. One under on the card, and now gets to two under. Tom's got a nice afternoon round going. After that great tee shot in 11, Jerry Kelly for his birdie. So he is now two over. Thanks. That on that front, you got to land this ball past the hole and bring it back. If not, it comes back down the slope. Yeah, you don't want too much spin because it will come zipping off the green. Uh, well, that's not going to spin that much. You kind of caught that. Could come back down the slope it'll, here. It'll get further down than you think. Caught that just a bit then. Yeah, he doesn't have to tell anybody that. Ted Treba now at the seventh for birdie from left of the hole, going back down the hill. Find it, do it. He asked to find it, and it did. Yeah. Ohio State Buckeye graduate. Got to have a little bit of speed to hold its line. Oh, center cut there by O'Meara. That. Hold location on that back left shelf. Just saw Alex check it, hit it in there on the proper level. Mike Weir get it back there. He does. Best shot of the day for Mike Weir at the fifth. Back at the fifth now, and Mike Weir, beautiful tee shot. Gets one back. Gets him to plus one. Over at six, Billy Andrade has this putt for Eagle and the lead. Can be aggressive, and he was. Great try, Billy. That gets him to five under now, a share of the lead with Stephen Ames, who is in the clubhouse with his 65. From the left hand side of the fairway, 112 yards coming back up the hill, also into the breeze here, playing almost like 125 yards. Wind holding this one up, it's going to spin. And yeah, couples will have another good look. Oh, really? <laughs> couples for his first birdie of the day at 14. All right, there we go. So Fred, one over. Putting back up the hill. Jerry, one under par on his round today. Did it get enough? Oh, my goodness. Slow rolling. 
270 degree lip out. His final hole. Gonna get it out to the left, let it curl back and good speed. Nice round of golf for Ted Treba. Love the way the bunkers are cut. Southern Hills, very similar. Billy now way out to the left. Well, this oh, he quit breaking. It quit breaking, almost went back to the left at the very end. Halfway there, I thought he made it. Absolutely, it looked like it was apexing right into the center of the hole and just stayed out there. A great what, round of golf for Billy Andre. Wonderful round of golf, solid. Hit a lot of greens, no bogeys around Omaha Country Club. That in itself is a feat. Senior circuit here. Pretty good breaker from right to left. Solid. Great finish there. Gets that bogey at seven. Finishes with a nice birdie and a beautiful three under par 67. Yells, drove it out of position. Second shot short. That for bogey. And I'm not sure that putter is going to make it. Well, make it to 18, but might not make it to the car. And he seems to be doing that better and better. Yeah, he made those adjustments. All right. What a finish by Fred Couples, who's kind of just ambling along and birdies three of his last five and jumps in to red figures with a 69. And, and that's got to give him a lot of momentum heading into tomorrow.